Ah, look at this. This is a, a motorcycle that the uh, police in 40, some police, they use and they ride around in this. It's a Harley Davidson. It's, it's beautiful, it's nice. Uh, not all the towns have uh, the funding for this type of uh, extravagance, though it's useful. It has a lot of uses uh, for community policing and it makes it more accessible for uh, the average citizen to interact with this particular officer. Um, it's cool. There's a few of them and it's a really good, a good idea to do things like that in, uh, in law enforcement. Uh, even though it might be expensive, but uh, there's a disconnect between, uh, uh, between the, the citizen and the law enforcement officer. Maybe some citizens are afraid of the law enforcement uh, officers. Maybe some of the citizens have had negative experiences with uh, an individual law enforcement officer. And then from that, they uh, have negative thoughts or negative ideas about all law enforcement. And that's not necessarily the case. That's not necessarily the case, I believe. And I feel most law enforcement officers are pretty decent, hardworking people, just like everybody else. But there are a few bad apples. And if you do interact with a, a, a law enforcement officer who's, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, questionable if, uh, if they should be one, then I recommend you uh, we file a report, we file a complaint. Uh, it's kind of like that saying, if you see something, uh, how does that saying go? If you see something reported, I don't know, or if you see something, do something, I don't know, there's a saying that as a result of the uh, the event of 9-11, there's been a lot of, uh, from various law enforcement agencies, there's been a lot of uh, uh, promotion about that in subway stations and various municipal government agency buildings. But this is really cool because it's a Harley Davidson. And I've seen one of these and what they're able to do is they're able to make a circle, a really narrow circle. It, it makes you question if it can, but it can make that narrow circle because of the way that this particular uh, motorcycle is built or designed. Um, there's a lot of great uses for it, though, in, in law enforcement. When you have uh, just a regular stop sign or uh, no, a regular traffic light, for instance, you see this motorcycle stop just like everybody else, and it gives the opportunity of the motorist who's on the left or to the right in some cases to you know, roll down their windows and to have a conversation with the law enforcement officer, just a small conversation or something. So they can have an interaction because there's a disconnect between the interaction of the citizen and the law enforcement officer, especially in New Jersey, because there's been a, or the last few years has been a transition into an idea known as uh, community policing, or, uh, yeah, community policing. So basically involving the citizen, the average day citizen, into the, uh, into the law enforcement, because, you know, a lot of the case, a lot of the times that, you, you know, the, the law enforcement officer needs the citizen to report things, to report crimes, to report issues of concern that they have suspicions of, and, and then you have a trained professional who takes care of issues like that. We're a civilized society. This is why we have we have things like this here. Uh, this is not um, not to put down a place like Afghanistan, but this is not Afghanistan. This is America. So that's what we have here. Thanks for watching.